Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> Welcome back to another day in Bangkok. And it's working out 700 bahts per night, which is really, really good. I think on the whole, maybe they're a little bit more expensive than say like a, a grab or whatever, but they're definitely more, most convenient. Uh, how much for a uh, pad thai? It's nine kilometers, about 35 minutes, and it was 147 baht. 80 baht, 70 baht, 50. Jesus, it goes as low as 40 yeah. if you just have it with egg. This is the maddest foot massage I've ever got in my life. Oh my god. Look at the size of So yeah, that will give you an idea if you actually go to like a street stand. 700 baht, it's an absolute bargain. You said it wasn't open. Open! No, you said it wasn't. Don't. That's the guy. <laughs> That's the scammer. <laughs> so the total for that was 380 baht. So we'll see if we'll go for two, but this for now. 89 baht. So the plan for today is to have a typical day in Bangkok and just see how much it is going to cost. Um, the idea is not to have it as cheap as possible. Uh, we're just going to do, like, like I said, a typical normal day. We have to eat, we want to see some attractions, you might have a drink, things like that. Things that you would do if you did come to Thailand. So uh, that will give you basically a gauge of how, how much that you can spend. Obviously by watching this video, you'll be able to gauge yourself. You know, you might want to eat a certain type of food or you might not drink or you might not be interested in seeing certain attractions and you can just gauge it from that. But that's the plan for today anyway. Okay, so first things first, coffee. <laughs> Our daily run to the 7-Eleven. <laughs> We're at the little 7-Eleven cafe. Not all the shops actually have one of these, but the one where we're staying does. So we did get our morning coffee here. We do really good coffee. So Keelan went for a, an Americano hot, and that was 35 baht. And I got an iced cafe latte, and that was 55 baht. So 90 baht in total for the two coffees. Mine was a little bit more expensive, but this is the size of mine. It's quite large. <laughs> to our first spot of the day and um, we decided to get a grab to it so there is two ways to get around the city there's a grab or a bts grab is basically a taxi you download the app and you get it for a really really good price so the drive now i'm looking at it it's nine kilometers about 35 minutes and it was 147 baht which we think is really really affordable also um it actually tells you the price before you book it so you know what you're going to pay you can use card as well which is really handy uh, you don't have to use cash um, you can also get a grab bike, so if you're one individual person, I think that works out even cheaper. So yeah, Samantha said there about the BTS, that's another form of transport here in Bangkok. Um, we would probably use that more so than the grab, it just depends on the situation. Um, we found that in Bangkok traffic is really heavy, especially early morning, and then between like say half three, four o'clock to half seven uh, in the evening. So we probably wouldn't use a grab during them times, we'd probably use the BTS at that point. <laughs> Okay, so we're out of the grab. We're at our first stop of the day. It is a temple called Wat Po, or more famously known as the Reclining Buddha. But yeah, just something interesting. When we got out of the grab, a truck truck driver came over to us and was like, uh, are you going into the temple? We were like, yeah. And he says, oh, it's closed today. So that's a scam. So uh, we've already done our research and know that it is open today. But sometimes uh, with foreigners, when they come in, they might not know this sort of stuff or whatever. And the truck truck driver is basically trying to get you to uh, ditch your plan to see the temple and then go off with him and see other attractions in Bangkok. So, tomorrow we leave. Yeah, just be aware of that. It doesn't happen that often. In fact, that's probably the first time that it's happened to us in Thailand where we've been tried, you know, someone tried to scam us. And we were here for five months earlier this year and we're going to be here for another month or six weeks. So, that's the first time that that's happened. But it does happen, uh, it happens in Asia. Uh, quite a lot, but yeah, first time for us. But yeah, just be wide to that when you get here. Okay, something interesting here. This one might be for our toy viewers. Uh, we were after discovering these things here beside this tree, and they're like little plastic bottles that are cut in half, and they're full of, I'm guessing it's rainwater. And we think that they're for, so this tree here, there's squirrels and all in it, and there's birds and stuff. We think that it might be for them to drink, which I think is a really good idea. But if you know what the purpose of this is, yeah, let us know in the comments, because that's the first time that we've seen something like that, so. Thank you, welcome back. 
Thank you very much. So we just got our tickets uh, for the temple. They were 200 baht each. So this is one of the oldest temples in Bangkok and it's famous for the big reclining Buddha. Uh, it was one temple we missed the last time we were here. When you're entering the temples in Thailand, you have to be covered up. So we obviously knew that from the last time. So we brought our, <laughs> I have like a <laughs> elephant skirt sort of wrap thing. So I just, one time covered my shoulders are covered and then I, I'm wearing shorts. So I'll just cover the bottom half with this. So yeah, this is the idea. <laughs> now you can actually rent them here. Um, but if you're planning to visit a few temples, it's worth to just buy one and carry it around in your bag. Yeah. Yeah. I actually did bring my, I call them India pants because I bought them in India, um, which I thought I had to wear, but um, I'm wearing kind of three quarter lengths-ish. <laughs> and uh, they said I was okay, so I don't need to wear my India pants. I have to say, we love visiting the temples over here. There's something really spiritual and peaceful about them. Yeah. And they're beautiful as well. Really, really beautiful. I think definitely the experience with temples is more just to kind of walk around and experience it you don't necessarily need to know everything about them or the history and things like that they're very very nice to look at as Amanda said the atmosphere uh, it's very peaceful kind of thing you know so it's worth kind of checking them out and just having a little walk around so you have to remove your shoes and socks they give you this bag then to carry them in oh very well organized let's enter Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the size. What? Wow. Oh he is massive. So this is the famous recline in Buddha. We've come all the way down to his feet. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so big. Look. The reason behind the Buddha lying down, the reclining Buddha, is it's supposed to be him before he went into the afterlife. Oh really? Yeah, 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 that's what I read online. So I'm not too sure. I'm not, I don't know too much about it, but I know that's the idea. That's the symbol of the reclining Buddha. I oh, think, okay. Before he entered into the afterlife. Mm. actually need too long in them and um, they're just really lovely to visit yeah, as we no, mentioned no, earlier on <laughs> sorry the tuk-tuk drivers again so many of them actually lined up outside the temple <laughs> but uh, yeah they're Hello lovely places again. to visit you said it wasn't open but no you said it wasn't don't that's the guy <laughs> that's the scammer <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. And I wouldn't mind, there's actually signs outside that saying open every day from like 9 till 6. <laughs> so it does open every day, oh, don't lovely. believe them. <laughs> he, he walked up, I don't think he remembered us. He walked up, he's like, my bed. Like, oh. oh shit, I already got you. <laughs> but um, you yeah, know, they're lovely places to visit, honestly, and we always feel really good coming out of them. Um, I also read up the symbol behind the reclining Buddha, if you have one in your home, it's supposed to bring harmony and peace to your home so Maybe yeah they'd be good presents for people. <laughs> i think they would be yeah they'd be really nice it's about just under a kilometer so about, about 100 baht i pay 100 all right yeah okay 100 yeah we'll do 100 thank you so our next stop is just under a kilometer away uh, original price he said 200 but uh, we've got it down to 100 baht I think 
on the whole, maybe they're a little bit more expensive than say like a, a grab or whatever, but they're definitely the more, most convenient because they're everywhere. So if you walk out of a place and you just, you know, you don't want to sit and stand around on an app ordering a grab or you don't want to walk to a BTS station, chances are there's going to be a tuk-tuk driver right beside you so you can just jump in. So if you're pressed for time, it's very handy as well. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bye. <laughs> okay, so we're at our next stop of the day, which is Kosan Road, and we just decided to come down here because it's quite close to um, the Temple of Wat Po. Also, as well, Wat Arun, which is another famous temple, is down uh, that sort of area as well. So this part of Bangkok, um, this, this BTS doesn't really run uh, as close to it, so you kind of have to rely on tuk-tuks or cabs or whatever. But um, yeah, we're in Kosan Road. We're on the lookout for a little bit of food, maybe a drink. And yeah. it's strange to be here during the day because last time we were here it was night time. It's a little bit more relaxed. Now, a lot of people have mixed reviews about Koh San Road. You yeah. either love it or hate it. We love it. <laughs> well, but we think it's great. Like, it's, there's it's a bit great. of life in yeah. it and a bit of messing in the evening and stuff. But it's very, like, it's, I think it's a bit, people talk about it a bit like it's too much and it's wild and it's crazy and stuff. I don't think no, it is. No, we love it. There's a great atmosphere in it. If you like to have a drink, there's always live bands on at yeah. night time and all. It's a great place to come. I don't think any trip is complete to Bangkok without actually visiting yeah. Koh San Road. Yeah. And then you can make your own mind up. It yeah. probably just depends on you as a person. Yeah, yeah. Do you know that sort of way? But we do love it. But uh, this is really relaxed for Koh San Road <laughs> right now compared to we usually come at night time. Yeah, yeah. It's actually unrecognizable to be honest with you because yeah. a lot of stalls, because uh, they sell clothes and stuff here and a lot of food vendors and stuff. They're not actually out just yet because it's a bit early. So it does look a little bit different to uh, to at night. But, but yeah, like I said, we're on the lookout for a bit of food, maybe a drink. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to get really hungry now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tofu, yes. Tofu. Thank you. Thank you very much, lovely. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that. Wow, that looks unreal. So we pulled into a, a little restaurant, just actually off Koh San Road. It's around the corner from it and um, they have a great menu here. I think the name of it is called Shoshan and we've been here before actually, it's lovely. It's got great reviews on like TripAdvisor and um, Lonely Planet and things like that. So as you know, if you've been watching our videos, we love Thai food, it's one of our favorites. That and Indian food are probably our top two. Uh, we get, eat various dishes like Pad Thai and Caprao and things like that. Today we've gone for um, a cashew uh, dish. I've had it with tofu, you can get it with chicken or, or whatever, fish um, or shrimp or something like that. But I got it with the tofu, it's amazing. It's really, really good. So if you're coming to Thailand, Pad Thai, you'll probably know that one, it's really good. Caprao is probably our favorite, and then the cashew as well. So they would be our three recommendations for Thai food if you come to Bangkok. That's one thing we love about Thailand, is you can pretty much ask for anything you want. So if you see a meal on the menu, you can ask, can they add tofu in it instead of chicken or whatever else. So if you are a vegetarian, don't actually be afraid to ask them. Yeah. They will make your dish up for you. <laughs> Lovely, thank you very much. Thank you. Delicious. Look at that. Wow. It smells amazing. I went for the sweet and sour today. So with chicken. It's actually quite a large portion size as well. <laughs> Chunks of pineapple. And Thai pineapple. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh. All the fresh vegetables. You literally have fresh pineapple, carrots, onion, cucumber, tomato, sweet corn. It's a feast. Feast of veggies. <laughs> They go uh, scarfing, they guys. do. That's kind of, you have to get used to that, I guess you'd say, if you're in, uh, if you're in Bangkok and Thailand and Asia in general, <laughs> that you'll be dining with some little creatures. We happen to think that the little geckos are really cute, like they just kind of leave them, they keep themselves to themselves, they don't really get involved, they're not like the mosquitoes that just kind of fly around yeah. all the time. The geckos just kind of hang around, but they're, they're funny. Oh. oh. <laughs> Speaking of uh, creatures, 
Now yeah. he's small. I am not a spider fan. I was literally about to say there. That's one thing that we haven't seen a lot of is spiders. But mm. in fairness, we actually haven't. And that was probably a little bit of my worry. Probably sounds crazy. Some people like afraid mm. of spider, but they just freak me out. Honestly, we haven't seen many of them over no. in Asia in general. No. It's more just the little geckos. I actually don't mind them because they're more afraid of you. They just run. Yeah, they yeah. wouldn't really come near you or anything like that. But um. It's funny, yeah, you have to get used to it. You get used to it sort of not until it's now. We're like, oh yeah, little gecko. What's that noise? Okay, we're finished our dinner, or our lunch, I should say. It was like a dinner, though. It was quite a large portion. It was absolutely delicious. The total price of it was 380 bahts. Um, now, you can get it much cheaper, depending on where you eat. We sort of knew that that price, um, that place was going to be that price. We'd eaten in it before, and it is really, really lovely. Um, Keelan got the cashew and tofu dish, and I think it was 180 for that, whereas he's paid 120 before in other places for it. So again, it just depends where you go. If you get on the side of the road, you can get it even cheaper again. I think like 60 baht for a meal. So it just depends. But I will leave the name of that um, little restaurant in the description below because it's really, really tasty. Uh, really lovely. It's just literally at the back of uh, Koh San Road. How much for a Pad Thai? Pad Thai, How much? 80 baht, 70 baht, 50. Jesus goes as low as 40 yeah. if you just have it with egg. Uh, okay, and then if you add baht, with shrimp, baht, it's 80 baht. Egg, chicken, slim. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Egg, slim. Egg, chicken, egg, no egg. I see, okay. okay. Yeah. Right, thank you very much, thank you. If I like, okay. Spring oh, roll. there are spring rolls as well. Yeah, Wow. wow. A 30 baht for the spring rolls, is it? Yeah, two, two other 30 baht, yeah. Two for 30 baht. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay, lovely. Lovely. Okay, Great. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank back. you. Thank you. So yeah, that will give you an idea. If you actually go to like a street stand, you can get it for really, Way really cheaper, cheap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cheapest on the menu there, like obviously the spring rolls were, were 30 baht, but you can get a pad toy there for 40 baht. That's cheap. So yes, it's very important to point out when we talk about costs and you know the expense of something, it's it is all relative, you know. Like we, we find ourselves comparing to Ireland where we're from and Thailand is much much more affordable than Ireland the costs are so much lower but if you're watching from say a different country in Asia you might think it's maybe expensive it might be the same and again like I said at the beginning of the video the object of this vlog is not to be like how cheap everything is we're just having a normal day today I mean we've seen videos like on YouTube and it's like $10 challenge or whatever and like they don't really do anything they just like walk around and then say how cheap it is uh, it's not very realistic I think if you come to Thailand the idea is not you know, you don't go around not doing anything. You come here to do loads of stuff. So uh, today's video is more just about kind of a normal, regular day and just how much it costs. If you think it's cheap or if you think it's expensive, let us know in the comments. It'll obviously, um, where you come from will be a factor as well. But for us, we find it very, very affordable. Like I said, we're comparing it to Ireland, uh, to Europe. But also after being in Asia for 12 months, we're starting to see little differences as well, so. We're on the hunt for a drink now <laughs> to wash down our dinner. But um, we're actually on the hunt for like a good deal, like happy hour. So I think happy hour usually everywhere sort of does happy hour, don't they? I mean, it runs from about two in the day yeah, or to like eight o'clock yeah. or whatever. Just see, can we get the best deal? I'm looking there, what's that? A big Chang, 90 bats. A small 70 bats. Mm. That's all right. Bit of music on as well. We're just after seeing there, um, there's a stall selling a pad thai with vegetables and it's only 30 baht that's so cheapest. that's the cheapest we've that's seen cheapest. with yeah. vegetables pad thai with 30 baht oh <laughs> too bad we've eaten <laughs> i know i know yeah we found the cheapest <laughs> cheapest by one baht the cheapest we've seen was 90 baht, and this is 89, so we go here with it. Ah, lovely. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
god. This is why we're tucked away in a cozy little <laughs> bar with cheap beer. <laughs> We definitely uh, picked the right time to come for a drink, that's for sure. Right, so we decided to stop in for a foot massage. <laughs> I think it's well needed after walking to Asia for a year. <laughs> Our feet are in bad need of it. So it's working out 150 baht for 30 minutes. Mm. That's really nice. Thank you. Thank you. So we sit in here? Yes, please. Together, yes. yes. Thank you. A massage? Lovely. Yes. Okay. Thank you. A nice romantic foot massage together. <laughs> Okay, hello, hi. Yes, hello, hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Oh, okay, oh, so this goes back. Like... Do half hour or one hour? A half hour, please. Half hour. So we'll go for the half, half hour. hour together? Yeah. Together, yes. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. So this is not something that you have to get. We don't actually get them yes. regularly at all. This is only our second massage. Yeah. Since we, being in Thailand. As I said, we're in bad need of it. <laughs> <laughs> My feet are in bits, so this will do the job. It's actually a nice little setting the way it's outdoors as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, lovely, like yeah. You can do a little bit of people watching while it's happening, so. I apologise for my feet, they're not in good condition, sorry. <laughs> I can already smell the oil. <laughs> lovely. Back? Relax. Well, relax, sorry, yeah. Intense. He's telling me to relax in two tents. Ooh. Oh, it's lovely, they sort of go up the leg as well. So yeah, this isn't something that, well actually it is something that you should do, shouldn't you, if you're in Thailand oh, to, get, to, to get a massage Yeah, before. you have to come and get a massage, they're you so do. affordable and they're literally on every corner of every yeah. street, like it's a known thing, they're really, really popular, you yeah. just see everybody getting them done over yeah. here. We got one um, when we were in a youth here, I think it was our lottery, I'm not sure, earlier in the year, that was a full uh, body Thai massage, which was lovely but also a little bit painful because it's like the real deal uh, this one is just a foot massage and um, so it's we haven't had one before but that's only two since being in thailand and, and together we've been in thailand i think in total with the two two stints over six months so only two massages is probably low in comparison yeah, to what most definitely. people might get but yeah i think it's definitely something if you're in thailand i mean it's famous for it uh you know thai massage that they're excellent at it so um yeah, they really know what they're doing. Like. Yeah. Right into the muscle. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> I guess it's 15 minutes on each foot. So we're getting for 30 minutes. But uh, my feet are so dry and all underneath. Not that you want to know that information, but just from walking around, your feet get a little bit rough underneath. So I think it's really nice to get this done. She's rubbing lovely oils and stuff on them. Definitely worked 300 bucks for the two of us. Oh, he's had been cracking me toes. I'd been screaming. People walking by were looking around. What the hell's happening to him? <laughs> he's pulling me toes off my feet. <laughs> it feels good though. <laughs> oh, he's really getting in there with the knuckles. <laughs> Are they still on my feet? <laughs> Did you get that bit, yeah? No, I think mine, mine is a little bit more gentler. <laughs> <laughs> this is the maddest foot massage I've ever got in my life. Can I take <laughs> All done, brand new. How do you feel? Oh my god, I feel so good. That was amazing. <laughs> that was like an added bonus at the end. Now that I think about it, I think the foot massage sort of comes with like a neck and shoulder massage. I've forgotten about that. Oh, okay. And that was really, really like a, a nice treat to finish it off. I didn't realize how tense I was. Yeah. Honestly, they really get in there. I feel nice and loose now. Massage done and dusted. We have new feet. Uh, I actually told Aloy we actually got three massages, not two, in in, uh, in Asia, which three in a year is still, I think, is pretty low considering how affordable they are and how good they are. So we definitely 
we say it every time every time we get one we're like oh we have to get more of them more regularly but we never do we always leave it six months or something i don't know why we do because it's so easy to just stop in for a half an hour and get a foot massage like do you yeah, know what yeah, i mean I so know. i don't know why we do it but it was amazing it was it was really good so we're gonna have to get a grab back to our hotel because we also wanted to include our accommodation in you know the kind of how how cheap it is or how expensive it is to to stay in bangkok so we're going to include our accommodation now uh like i said earlier we're in this part of bangkok we're a bit too far away from the bts so we're gonna have to get a grab again and it was dearer this time it was dearer it was 230 baht so this that time. is quite dearer and it's like the same pretty much distance, the same distance yeah, but yeah it could be just the time of the day it could be because it's raining i'm oh, not yeah, too sure yeah, why yeah. it's more expensive but mm. even at that it's still pretty good i think for, for the grab. distance that you're going yeah the grab is definitely like a light uh, light lightsaber <laughs> lightsaber <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're just waiting on him now, so we should be here in a minute or two. Oh, Our lightsaber has arrived. <laughs> oh. Bye bye, fucking cab. Oi, we made it back to our hotel. Let's show you inside. So um, we're staying in a place and it's called the Siam Palace and it's working out 700 baht per night which is really really good. It's really now good it's a basic room but it's really really spacious, mm. uh, very comfortable, good AC. Mm. We have uh, a desk in it, we have a TV, there's also a fridge and they actually leave like a little mini bar in it mm. as well. So which is really handy, we've actually emptied it out. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have like a bathroom with a shower and stuff mm. which is grand as well and um, so yeah pretty basic but you're paying for what you're getting yeah. good wi-fi really friendly and nice staff ah, as well yeah. i have to say aren't they they're so yeah. nice and um, the cleaner comes in every day gives you a fresh bottle of water toilet roll fresh towels everything else like that we we ask them to clean the room as we're out and about all day we come back the room is spotless so yeah. just a really really good deal um, in terms of accommodation now we do like to stay in a little bit of luxury sometimes as well so if you've watched our last two videos I'll give you an idea of what luxury is like as well. Mm. We think it's very affordable in Bangkok, but again, we're comparing it to where we come from in Europe, Yeah, a luxury stay. So we like to sort of give a mixed review on stays in our videos, whether mm. it be luxury stay, and then of course, like a affordable stay then mm. for whether you're a backpacker or luxury, if you're coming like on um, a holiday and you want to stay somewhere fancy. But uh, this is what you get for 700 bahts, which is yeah. really, really good. We booked this on booking.com as well. So yes, 700 baht is a great um, a great deal, to be honest with you. The only downside I would say about this place is it's not exactly close to a BTS system. So uh, I think the closest one is about a kilometer away. What's that, about 20 minute walk? So like, it's not a deal breaker. It's just, a, we've stayed in Bangkok before, right? Beside places that have a BTS and it just makes it so much easier to just walk out and be on a train in like a couple of minutes and then you can go all around the city. So that's the only downside is that it's not you know, it's not too close to a BTS, but 700 baht, it's an absolute bargain. Right, so we're back out again because we have some laundry to do. <laughs> now, just in terms of laundry, when you're doing it in, in Thailand in general, some people will do it for you. It's very, very cheap. Um, we like to do our own. So there is plenty of wash houses around where you can go and there's like loads of machines, wash yeah. machines, dryers, you put the coin in and then you can wait like 30 minutes and just do your own laundry. So that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> it's not the most uh, entertaining of content, but it is a necessity. And if you are, I suppose this is for the backpacker side of somebody coming to Thailand, uh, you have to do it. So uh, that's what we're about to do now. <laughs> <laughs> Great fun. <laughs> Great fun. But we thought we'd include it because like I said, just to give you an idea of just what it costs to be here yeah. in Thailand and to travel in Bangkok, so. Oh. So yeah, when you come into these wash houses, you have to have your own like uh, washing powder and fabric softener. But they always have the little machines here, which is really handy. And it's only five baht then to get the washing powder and then your softener as well. Really, really handy. You don't be showing YouTube my boxers there. <laughs> Make sure them babies are covered up. <laughs> Another reason that we like to do our own washing is because we don't like to use the dryer. Oh, so yeah. like the hotel that we're staying in for example they actually do uh, a laundry service and they charge sort of per item and uh, still it's not even that expensive but they will put the stuff probably in the dryer we like to just do our wash and then hang our stuff then and let it just like dry naturally plus it's actually cheaper to use these machines we actually gave our washing to somebody i think it was the philippines i can't remember and they used the dryer and it just they were tiny What's the price? Oh shit, I don't know. 
There's it depend oh sorry, okay. So it's labeled here. Depend on the kilos, so like ten kilos. I think ours is only about that we've really small yeah. wash. Even yeah. less than ten kilos actually. So for a warm wash is forty bucks. I think it's not the temperature. It is, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> it's not it's not the temperature. It's you can either go for cold water, warm water, or hot water. We're okay. going for warm water, so it's forty bucks. Okay. That's yeah. the temperature. You can either go for cold, warm or hot. So oh, we're right, just gonna okay. go for a warm and then yeah, it's forty bucks. I thought that was the temperature. Because the cold water is 30 bats, the warm water is 40, and the hot water is 50. I thought it was like 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees. What number machine? We're number five. They're all actually uh, numbered as well. So we can go off now and just time it. It's 30 minutes. So we're back in 30. So we're we'll back in 30. Okay, so <laughs> why we are waiting on our laundry to be done? 30 minutes. Uh, we thought, why not? It's only across the way. And we've got a bottle of chunk, 75 bats for this one. So that's cheaper again. Earlier on was earlier on we were paying 90, 90 bats. Yeah. Um, that was happy hour as well, mm. but that was also in Cosan Road. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? So that's like a popular spot. You're going to pay a little bit more. This is more local, as you can sort of see behind me. Mm. So 75 bats for a large chang. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> to doing laundry. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we love Thailand. Honestly, everything is just so easy. It's all just there for you all the time. These yeah. like local uh, places are so many of them we always say we just love the whole atmosphere of it and just the easy life that's what yeah, it is yeah. it's a very very easy simple life and i think that's what we love so much about it okay so we're back on the streets to our last stop of the day which funnily enough was our first stop of the day which is the 7-eleven we are on our way for a little bit of a munch um where we were still stuffed all day from that uh from that toy food earlier on but now uh, it's obviously later in the evening and we're starting to get a little bit peckish again so we're going in to get which has now become part of toy culture which is the 7-eleven toasties uh, backpackers live off them they're infamous here in thailand they're actually delicious and they're only about 37 baht or something like that so for times like this it's a great great snack Favorite. It's a cabanera Danish sandwich and it's done like in like a croissant bread. Absolutely delicious, honestly. <laughs> and there's the price right there 37 baht for steel. Steel, honestly. Mm. 215 baht for goodies. <laughs> What's that? Two fifteen. Two hundred and fifteen. Yeah, that's Add not that bad. Add that to the list. What did we get? A joint packet of first sharing bag. <laughs> uh, two like protein milks. The glasses are steaming up here. <laughs> Coming out of the gold. Um, and we got two toasties as well. So. Ooh. Right. So we're heading back to our hotel to enjoy some munchies and some Netflix. We're gonna leave the grand total of everything uh, just at the end of this video. So you could let us know what you think. Do you think it was an expensive day? Did you think it was a cheap day? And um, the answer is obviously going to be, um, you know, depending on, you know, your circumstances and stuff like that. But um, like I said earlier as well, we didn't want to make a video like a $10 challenge and then do nothing. We wanted to make it real. And like, you know, you go out, you're in Thailand, you want to have a drink, you want to have some food, you want to do this or do that. Mm -hmm. So um, that was the whole idea behind this video. So if you do like the video, please leave a thumbs up. And as well, if you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. You can also head on over to Instagram at GoTime Travels and follow us for all of our daily uploads. <laughs> uh, we also have TikTok account and Facebook. We leave them in the description below. Also as well, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're coming to this side of the world, check out our previous videos. We were in Thailand for about five months. Sorry, there's a boy gone by. <laughs> we were in Thailand for about five months earlier this year. We traveled north, south, east and west. So uh, you might find those, uh, those videos helpful. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.